What is up my dudes, Commander Rico here with a another video. And today I'm going to be doing a top 10 favorite minifigures video. Now this video will be a bit um all over the place. I'm going to be big explaining why they're all my favorites. And you kind of saw a few on the thumbnail. And I think with that said, I'll just get right into it. Number 10, I have um, Mickey Mouse from the Disney Castle set. Now the reason I chose this is my only non-Star Wars pick except for another one. Um, this is for an overall representation of the Disney theme, which I am a huge admirer of. I have both the Disney train and the Disney castle. And I think this was the best uh, way to show how much I love the Disney theme I was by choosing this guy. I could have choos chosen Goofy, which I also love, but I think this was just the best representation of why I love the Disney theme so much. I, I just love Disney. They're my favorite. And, uh, and that I think that's why I chose this. Not because it's like that's my exact favorite Disney figure, which I have a lot of and I didn't really want to choose between any. So I thought this was the best pick. And yeah, so that would be number 10. And we'll move on to my very next favorite at number 9. Now this isn't exactly a Lego figure per se, but this is a Clone Re Customs figure, which is basically Lego. And it is, I've only just gotten this recently, as you can see in one of my uh, latest haul videos. But it is definitely one of, if not the coolest minifigures like detail wise I think I own this thing is just sick and the main reason it is up here is because of its featuring in my stop motion Rico Lego Star Wars story which is held very near and dear to my heart um, Captain Luke is in that whole gang and, and you'll see a theme there, there's only one other figure but yeah there is another figure that also relates to this that I own and it is very cool so this is the character of second which is really cool and he was a character that I'm really look interested in going into more in part two. And as I said, I think we'll move on to the next character. Here we have the 501st Commander Invert, also from Clone Ray Customs. He is also representative of uh, Captain Lucas. I, I got him at a brick fair show, which was really cool. It was my first like real brick, brick fair. I went to one when I was like seven or eight, but I could never really appreciate it because I wasn't in the Lego community that much back then. But now I am, and I got to fully appreciate it. I got some Clone Ray Customs which is fantastic. Captain Lucas, another character in my Rico Lego Star story and also a good friend. If he's watching this, hey, Captain Lucas. And another just amazing figure is basically the 501st Trooper, but the white and blue are switched out. And I think that's my conclusion for number seven. Let's move on to number six. At number seven, we have the Dark Lord himself, possibly the face of the Star Wars franchise. It is Darth Vader. And I think that's partly why I did this, and partly because there's a bit of a story behind this one. I don't know if it's this one specifically, because they have multiple Darths. But I remember I had the joint swim team for a summer, and I worked super hard to get it. And if I did swim team for seven weeks, I was able to get the duel of, on, the Death, on the Death Star with Palpatine, Luke, and, as you can tell, Darth Vader. Now, he comes with a really cool feature that I just really loved with the helmet detach detachment. Now, it's kind of grown on me, obviously, and I still love it. And I, I just think this is a great, iconic... I know a lot of people like the original, but personally, this one suits me the best. Um, I just love this. The detailing on this figure is amazing. If I remember correctly, there's also back printing. Yes, there is. And I just love this figure. This figure is absolutely astounding, and I love... I had to work so darn hard for this figure. Now, I also love that set. That's a fa fantastic set. But this figure is also a major component. Like, if this figure wasn't in it, if it was regular Darth, I still probably would have gotten it just a lot later and not worked for it. But yeah, I think that's my reasoning for why I love this Darth Vader figure so much. So I'll move on to the next figure. Here we have a goodie. This is the 501st Trooper. Uh, he is extremely cool. And there's another story behind him. Now, I first got a 501st Trooper in the... This the set that it came in, the ATRT, and it came with Yoda. And I didn't even want it for the 501st Trooper. I wanted it for Yoda. I was like seven. I have a story for all, almost all of these. I was like just getting into Legos, so I was like eight. I just finished watching Star Wars. And the main reason I wanted it was not because of the 501st Trooper, but because of Yoda, which did help me later on. Because that Yoda, I, I really wanted that Yoda, and I ended up trading it with another kid for White Boba Fett, which I just recently sold. For like a hundred bucks, which stocks, am I right? Stonks, if I, am I right? And 
Now I get, and I ended up trading the 501st Trooper some, somewhere along the line, but I ended up getting, like, four back, and no stupid trade. I think I traded it for something stupid, too. It was like, uh, who did I trade it for? Whatever it was, obviously, wasn't as uh, big. I think I ended up getting it back, though, from that person that I traded it with. I traded it to them, and then I traded it, I know they had a 501st Trooper, I traded it back. And that's where we are today. So, yeah. Anyway, that is the 501st Trooper, which I hope you enjoyed that little story. And we'll move on to our number five spot. Yes, number five. I'm sorry, I'm doing some number counting wrong. I hope I called that right. But anyway, here is number six. Yes, I, I've done six figures. I'm sorry. Um, but here is the uh, clone commander. Now, this was the original icon of my channel F before Captain Rex and everything. Well, I was Captain Rex, and then I became this. So that's pro that's one of the reasons. He's also like I remember when I was little, I would play with him and have a whole elaborate story. He he ended up being like some crazy character, and that's why he just means so much to me. He's like pretty cool, and he has just a whole nice little thing. I use him every now and then. It mocks obviously, that sort of stuff. And I think with that said, we'll move on to our next figure. At my number three spot, we have the Mandalorian, and he's a cool figure. Like, I kind of want to get these special arm printing you put on him. Like, uh, they're like two fifty though, and I don't want to pay shipping. But he is just a cool figure. Like, I cannot describe how cool this dude is. Like, I do think he's cool. Like, he's like the Boba Fett of this generation. He's like some printing and just like the action figure everyone wants to have. It is just. A cool figure that I can't even say anything other than that. It's just a really cool dude. Like, who wouldn't want that? I mean, unless you like Kate Star Wars or whatever. But, like, who wouldn't want that? That's just really cool. Anyway, I think we can move on to our next figure, which is number two. Wow, look at that. At number two, we have this little dude. This is my original Sig fig, which is a signature figure. It uh, represented me. When I was had this Lego account called Puppet Master L on Instagram or something, I even it, it, I I, try, I post every now and then on it, but like really it's kind of inactive. It's dead. It used to have like 800 followers, but now it's I think down to 600 because like every time I post, which is a stupid decision, everyone's like, oh why am I still following this account? Next thing you know, down 20 sub or followers. But yeah. That was my first, like, big thing. Like, I had more followers in there than I think I have subs on here for a while. Not anymore, though. This channel is going to be huge. Yeah. Anyway, we have this nice little dude. It, nothing too special about it. Just sentimental for me. That's, like, a half of these. He just comes with a nice little coat. It is the Emmett face. So if you want to make your own Puppet Master L, just get sad Emmett. It's genius. Okay? With that said, I think we'll move on to our honorable mention. Yep, you didn't think I was getting number one yet. Here we have the OG C-3PO. Now you might be like, why is this so honorable? And obviously it didn't make the top 10B. It just does not make the look requirements. Is the only thing I think it has printed on is the, the torso. And actually, I, th this was close between this and the Han Solo uh, from the UCS Falcon. Because the UCS Falcon is uh, just a big thing, like milestone in my lake. I don't know. But yeah, this is C-3PO, and he is re really cool. And the reason I chose him was because, like, I had, like, almost all the main cast. I had Luke, I had Han, I had Leia, I had Chewbacca, I had R2-D2, and I never had C-3PO because at that time there were no C-3PO's. They, they didn't sell any C-3PO's. Now there's, like, 200. But yes, there were no C-3PO's, and when I went to my very first brick fair, I saw one, and it was like 15 bucks or something ridiculous. And my mom basically said I was not allowed to ever trade this one, which I didn't. You're welcome, mom. And, <laughs> and yeah, was, that's why I just kind of hold this guy close to my heart and never really get rid of him. And I think you guys all know who's going to be number one. It is Commander Rico. Now, this guy's been a bit of a mismatch, mismatch over, the few, over the last few, the year. So you'll notice, like, his torso is from the 501st Lieutenant, who's also up here. I just had to switch it out with the torso he currently has. Um, he has blue arms from some, like, other, like, Lego City set. He has, see, he used to have the C Captain Rex uh, pauldron, 
but now he has this culinary customs one and as well as a culinary customs uh side or um side waist capes so obviously he's got the cl the culinary customs helmet now he's got this dapper looking face as well as i think that's a brick arms blaster though so yeah they didn't fully one fully cac him yet but yeah this guy is just so important because like this last few years has been amazing when it comes to this YouTube channel. I don't. I didn't think I would ever do this well. I think it's also because I'm being consistent, which I'm glad about. And I'm just really glad overall that I've gotten to do all of this, which is it's just insane that I've gotten this far with this dude. This guy's been, like, the trademark of it all. Now he's, like, the trademark of my channel. He's got everything. And I think it's kind of obvious why he's the number one. But, yeah. With that said, I think we get to the closing of the video. With that said, I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed this video. Um, tell me what your picks are. What are your favorite Lego Clone Re Customs brick figures? Tell me yours in the comment section down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure all those notifications are turned on. Like 50% of you aren't even subscribed. What, what, what's the deal with that? What's the deal? Like, what's your problem? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.